Guys, this is Kira Epp. She's awesome. <laughs> Cheers. And it's good to have her family here to witness this today. And, uh, you know, Kira's been coming out to me, Pastor Maddie, baptism, you know, I think this is the right thing. And has been talking about it for months and praying about it. And for her, the day has finally arrived because, you know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be an adult or, a, you know, 50 years old or whatever it is. You know what? She knows in her heart that Jesus Christ is Lord of her life from now until eternity. And so we just, uh, we just stand with Kira today and we celebrate her uh, for, for everything that's going on for her, for her to get up here and just make this statement is just really profound. So this is Kira, everyone, and she's awesome. <laughs> a round of applause. I'm going to ask Kira just similar questions too, just to reflect on, just for her, just the journey of coming to know God and what it's been all about for her. So would you like to just share, Kira? Um, I don't remember much of my childhood except for all my stuffings. I know that I grew up in a good, God-loving family. We all worshipped God and were taught to love God as our Lord and Father. I remember I lived in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I was six years old and I woke up from a dream and started sobbing. My mom came to my bed and asked what was wrong. I told her that I was afraid of dying. She told me that if I prayed this special pr prayer when I would die, I would move on to another life when I died. And so I repeated the prayer after my mother. Awesome. We've got to love mums, hey? Good on your mum. It's great. Since accepting Christ, you know, what's been different since saying that prayer for you, Kira? Since then I have learned so many things, but what stuck out was giving all my worries and problems to God. He has been teaching me how to learn how to trust Him more, and I got to admit I don't like letting go of my problems that easily. <laughs> I hope that after I'm baptized, I can trust in God more and let Him take care of all my troubles. Come on. Awesome. So we invited Kira to just reflect on her favorite scripture verse too because it's the authority of God's word, hey? And this has been on her heart, so we're going to get her to share her favorite scripture. My favorite verse is Romans chapter 5 verse 8, which is, But Christ died for us while we were still sinners. In this way, God showed his great love for us. I love this verse because it reminds me that Jesus died for me and that no matter what, God will always love me. Come on. Come on. That's so good. Thanks, Kira. All right. Are you appreciating hearing? Just a glimpse of the story, hey? Everyone, we're all just so... Baptismal candidates, and uh, we're going to go through, and we're going to do the baptism right now. So come and gather around. And after we do the baptism, guys, let's just give them a massive round of applause and just celebrate the state of their baptism. Come on, guys. Let's just give them a massive round of applause and just celebrate the state of their baptism. So basically, we're going to start with Kira. Young Kira, let's give her a round of applause.